wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreadity Rose report. Yep, one more coming. Alright, Undertaker, by the way, is currently not scheduled for any WWE post-WrestleMania tour that they're going to be having in uh, Europe. Odd, isn't it? Do we think maybe if the streak ends, he's going to retire? Or he might just take time off again after uh, WrestleMania. He did that the last few times. All right, a little heads up in Europe. As uh, noted yesterday, by the way, indie star Matt Cross is reportedly a contestant on the new Tough Enough that's going to be starting soon. Val Venus wrote the following on his Twitter, congratulating Cross. He said, uh, congrats, Cross, uh, on being a part of the cast of Tough Enough. M-Dog is amazing. You should have, uh, be the fave to win the whole damn show. And there's no word yet on the, the Rock when he's going to be back on Raw, but it's uh, believed he will make appearances between now and WrestleMania 27. Gotta hype it. Look for WWE advertising uh, the Rock uh, return on, uh, you know, in advance of, uh, uh, you know, like ahead of time, because like I said, they, they really didn't get good responses on their ratings when the Rock just happened to show up, because nobody knew he was going to be there, so nobody tuned in, but... They got a good uh, rating this week, though, because of the last week. Wondering what's going to happen this week. Triple H, by the way, has got more control over WWE recruiting these days. And uh, it will be interesting to see what kind of guys he looks for. Uh, we know Vince likes the big, big abs people, too. So anyway, with the mindset of talent, I don't know whether Triple H is going to be looking for more persona or, you know, uh, acrobatic abilities because any more wrestlers got to be a little more acrobatic than used to be. WWE now is working with uh, former wrestlers in the UK who's scouting talent for uh, for them and uh, looking for guys with impressive builds. There we go. Hang on a second. Okay. Anyway, the son of late Bam Bam Bigelow, uh, Colton Bigelow, he won the district's high school championship in the uh, 215 pound weight class uh, this past weekend at his school. Uh, WWE said uh, to be unhappy with the first list of, uh, list of the Tough Enough contestants uh, that were chosen by Shed Media and the USA Network based on personality, showed, and their look. WWE didn't like the list because they included some well-known independent wrestlers, I guess. Uh, the women who were in charge of the casting were replaced by a guy who worked closer with the WWE producer and apparently they want a bunch of yes men. Nothing has been uh, said one way or the other about the money in the bank. Forgot about that. Uh, about that match being held at WrestleMania 27. If WWE decides to pull the match from WrestleMania, there's probably going to be likely be another uh, kind of a multi-man with you know the guys uh, like Kofi Kingston, Morrison, Kane, Drew McIntyre. We got to get them and Christian in the uh, mix there somehow. I don't know if they'll end up with a big time battle royal again or not. And uh, people close to The Rock noted that uh, while many have uh, said that he, they just thought his return was just cutting another promo for WWE, he said uh, people close to him said it meant a lot uh, more you know, to him than what they think. All uh, right, someone close to the Tough Enough, get back to that again, expects the show to be uh, used in a way to introduce Miss USA as a baby face and uh, ready to make her a star she may go from there over to the main roster real quick. Alright, Bill DeMont by the way made his return to Tough Enough and uh, it's kind of a surprise and kind of a big big deal too because he was fired a few years back as trainer in the, the remember uh, the uh, Deep South Wrestling? That's where uh, the developmental was before they went down to FCW. But anyway he was uh, allegedly too tough on the two students. They had a lot of complaints about him. They let him go. For the new Tough Enough, though, they did do a shoot uh, this season before the California, uh, before, uh, before the show starts, you know, different independent places. And uh, DeBont and Tom Pritchard, they were part of the instructional crew because they're going to want to show where they came from, you know, the students or whatever you want to call them, contestants, I guess. WWE, by the way, is uh, concerned that, the, is not concerned if the Georgia Dome is not full at WrestleMania uh, uh, 27, as the ticket sales have topped 50,000. The business signs uh, for the cities are uh, considered strong, though. Uh, it's also said that Vince McMahon is loving the current Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler uh, storyline as uh, it gets uh, live uh, 
you know, through he gets to live vicariously through coal, I guess. Most of uh, Cole's uh, lines in the TV are fed to him by Vince, by the way. Kurt Angle with Cole and Lawler is, uh, is uh, it, it patterned off of Lawler's frame, famous angle, you know, of uh, Andy Kaufman back in the 80s, I guess. Some speculation, though, uh, who's going to be announcing at WrestleMania 27. It's the feeling that it doesn't make too much sense, sense to have Lawler and Cole sitting side by side when they're going to have a match later. <laughs> Start fighting at, uh, at the announce desk. But... Uh, Jim Ross has always been kind of speculated for a return, maybe, uh, you know, at WrestleMania. Even last year, they thought he was going to be there, and he wasn't. Uh, early plans were for him to announce and didn't, but Shawn Michaels and Undertaker even requested Ross work the pay-per-view, but uh, Vince McMahon didn't want it. Triple H and Undertaker are the ones putting together their current, st uh, current program for WrestleMania 27 with minimal input from WWE Creative. That's going to be bad if it's going to be a hell of a deal between them two and Creative wasn't involved. Well, put if uh, uh, that'd be a good job for uh, Taker if he you know goes to retire and Triple H let him create the whole show. Taker was originally scheduled to face Wade Barrett, though. You remember me even mentioned about that? And Triple H was uh, set to face Sheamus at WrestleMania, but the two got together and realized WrestleMania 27 had no special match. And uh, WWE's two most powerful uh, political forces felt that they could control their own angle without much input uh, that's going to be an in, uh, influence from outside people. Creative. As noted before, Monday's Raw scored a uh, 3.9 cable rating with about uh, awful close to 6 million viewers. Uh, this show did hours of uh, 3.85, and it went through the second hour of 3.85. Everybody held in there to see what was going to happen. Uh, this was the highest Raw since September 7, 2009. And uh, the first hour of viewers, uh, that was the biggest uh, since June 22, uh, 2009. It was a commercial free Raw that night. Overall, the show's uh, average, it was about the best average, I guess, since Raw of, uh, uh, I guess, the post-SummerSlam, it looks like, 24th of August of 2009. Best Raw in two years, anyway. I don't know why. should have just told you that. Anyway, this week's uh, show was ranked number one of all cable ratings for the, uh, for the night, except for Paulden, Stars, and American Pickers. But it didn't end. I mean, it didn't air that week, so they got a little bit of a breeze there to slide on through into number one spot. Anyway, The Rock commented on The Undertaker versus uh, Triple H uh, and the return to Raw on his Twitter. He says, love seeing the, both Taker and Triple H return. What an incredible crowd reaction for both. Very happy for the epic match coming up, which he needs to be in. And uh, out of the four times John Cena has held the WWE Tag Titles, it was uh, been with someone he was feuding with at the time. Cena won the belts with Shawn Michaels in 2007, Batista in 2008, Otunga in 2010, and The Miz just last week. Each time Cena won the title with the opponent, the reign got shorter. Two months, one week, one day. The other one, last one was 12 minutes. Oh, Jillian Hall, by the way, Noted on her Twitter that she's removed herself from the planned Diva Mania tour with uh, Tiffany and uh, Maria Canales. Now that she's pregnant, again, I never had a thing to do with it. Jillian noted on uh, that she's 12 weeks pregnant, uh, due in uh, early September. And Jillian, it's going to be her second child, by the way, and she has already an 11-year-old daughter. I wonder if she can sing. Shawn Michaels uh, is still expected to be introduced into the storyline and have a role at WrestleMania, probably uh, as a wrestler or an enforcer. And the idea behind the storyline is Triple H is going to take, uh, going to be taking on Taker for uh, the revenge after Taker ends his uh, ended his best friend's career <laughs> and probably gets his own ended. Uh, oh, by the way, WWE DVD news uh, said the very best of WCW Nitro uh, DVD is being released date of Tuesday, June 7th. So save your money again. Uh, they're also uh, moved the Rock versus Austin, the rivalry DVD Blu-ray is set for December uh, 2011 to the release date now of October 11th. I don't know why they're switching things around, but I gotta go.